Hello everybody, I would like to present my Arduino oscilloscope which consists of this basic unit, the Arduino Nano, an OLED display and a 6 key keyboard. To change this to an oscilloscope I made this shield. Here are the voltage divider resistors to measure signal, negative signals too and a switch to switch between ground, a 1 to 1 or 10 to 1 probe. So let's connect these two. All right, on. Need a little bit of focus. Okay. Here you can see the signal area, an indicator line. Uh, uh, volts per division, time per division, the milliseconds per division and this is the menu indicator. This means, this plus and minus means this key is for the next menu, this for the previous menu and with these four keys you can higher or lower the voltage scale or the time scale. So to see what happens I go to this reference signal down, down switch on the reference signal up, up. Here you can see a reference signal where the Arduino switches between high and low every 10 milliseconds. So, this is a better view. Or, this is not triggered. But in the next menu you can switch the trigger on. Here you can see a very small or tiny arrow which indicates the trigger level. You can lower it or higher it. So now it should work. Note there's an indicator line which shows T for triggering, R for reference signal on. In the next menu and in the next menu you can give an offset. For instance in the Y direction you can lower the signal or higher the signal. The next menu shows some keys you can draw lines or pixels, ground the signal, um, reference on and off, and here is the uh, frequency spectre where you can see the zero part is the direct current part. Uh, the Number one is the basic signal, which has 50 Hz. And you have, because it's a square, you have a third, fifth, and sixth, seventh harmonic. In the next menu, you can hold the signal, which freezes the signal. Uh, you can save it to the EEE prom. So let's try it out. Switch it off. Um, hold. So there's no signal, but I can load the saved signal and, for instance, show the spectre of the signal. There's one further key, the reset key, where I can reset to the default values. So that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.